Welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. This time I'm making some small gears using the gear cutters I made in the last video. These are 0.6 module gears for a model car gearbox. I'm using my homemade dividing head with change wheels from the lathe to index the correct number of teeth for each gear. Where possible, I'll use a single change wheel gear with a number of teeth either equal to or a multiple of the number of teeth I need to cut on my gear. It's a good idea to mark the change wheels with dots to help count the teeth and avoid mistakes. I'm cleaning the change wheel with isopropyl alcohol before painting the dots. I've selected a 42 tooth change wheel and am marking every third tooth. The first gears I'm making have 14 teeth, so I need the number 7 cutter, which can cut gears with between 14 and 16 teeth. The cutter is mounted in an arbor, which will be held in the mill spindle. I've looked into my scrap bin to find suitable steel offcuts to make the gears. A piece of 10mm bar is selected and cut to length. It is then turned to the correct diameter. I'm making a long length of gear stock that I will later cut off to make individual gears. The lathe chuck has been transferred to the dividing head without disturbing the gear blank. I need to take time out to make a small tail stock to support the outer end of the gear stock. I'm making it from a piece of angle iron. I'm facing all surfaces using a fly cutter mounted to the lathe's faceplate.
With the tailstock complete, I can now get on with cutting the gears. The cutter is set at centre height and set to cut the full 1.2mm depth of the gear tooth in a single pass. With the gear teeth now cut, the chuck is returned to the lathe to part off and chamfer the individual gears. I'm now going to make a 50 tooth gear and I'm starting by preparing the blank from the offcut. Now I'm making a mandrel from aluminium to hold the gear blank. These thin gear blanks can be tricky to hold and a great way to do it is to use super glue. This allows the inner and outer diameters and the outer face to be machined at one setting with concentricity to the lathe spindle guaranteed. The mandrel and gear blank are first thoroughly cleaned with isopropanol. The superglue gives a very strong hold and heavy cuts can be taken as long as the work is kept cool so the glue doesn't melt. The gear blank is turned to the correct thickness, bore and diameter. Then the chuck is returned to the dividing head. The 50 tooth gear requires the number 3 cutter.
I'm using the mill table stops to set each end of the cut. With the teeth complete, the blank is removed from the mandrel using heat from a blowtorch. I'm now using the same approach to make the next few gears. This gear needs a groove cut into it for a selector fork. I'm using a parting tool in the lathe. The tool digs in but the superglue doesn't fail. I now need to make a 44 tooth gear but I don't have a suitable change wheel to cut this by direct indexing. I'm going to have to set up a gear chain and with the change wheels I have available I need the 40, 33 and 30 tooth gears. These are set up on the dividing heads banjo. The large gear simply provides clearance in the mechanism and doesn't affect the ratios.
The next gear is 34 teeth and I can't achieve 34 divisions with any combination of the change wheels I have available. I'm going to have to use the rotary table with the division plates. My rotary table has a 90 to 1 gear ratio so I need the 17 hole dividing plate incrementing 45 holes for each division. All the gear teeth are now complete and the gears are ready for the remaining machining operations. If you like this video please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Leave any questions or comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. See you next time.